Hi everyone, it's Sean the Dyslexic Geek here. Today is August the 1st, which means new LEGO release day. So I'm taking a trip into London to visit not one, but two LEGO stores. Um, first up, I'm going to be taking a trip into Battersea to visit the newly opened store there. And then after that, take a short trip back into central London and visit the flagship store in Leicester Square. Um, probably uh, show you around those, both, both those stores, pick up a few sets. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to buy yet, I've got a few things in mind. Um, just have to wait and see what, what's in stock I suppose. Um, but with 60 odd new sets being released today, um, there's quite a lot of variety so I'm sure it's pretty much something for everybody. So let's get this exciting day underway and let's get going. Made it into central London now, uh, about to go into the Battersea uh, Lego store. So let's go and take a look. The sun is shining, which is really handy. So let's go and have a look. About to go in. Uh, let's just see what's on display here. So let's have a look. I love this Lego store, it's very unique. It's the only one I believe in the world that has a black and white logo. I think that's something to do so it conforms with all the stores in Battersea uh, Shopping Centre, as you can see. So I think some of the sets on display. Uh, we've got the El Dorado Fortress, it looks just absolutely amazing, really, really cool. Can't, to get, can't wait to build mine, it looks so good. Got some of the dream sets, uh, first time seeing these. Still not convinced about this theme, I don't know how well it's going to do. But I do like the, the tree house, that looks quite nice, very vibrant in colour, it's much more than I was expecting. Uh, the front, the front, yeah, it's expensive though, £95. But it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I do quite like that of all the sets. But not for me, I don't think. We've got some more of the dream sets here, a bit up close. You know, like, the more I look at this, this tree house, I actually quite like it. I wasn't sure just now, but look at it, it's really quite cool. Uh, we've got the uh, Nightmare Shark Ship. A lot of money for what it is, but seen in person, they're much better than what I was expecting, really. Um, yeah, very interesting. I do like the, tur the, the turtle car, the turtle ice cream truck, I think that's what it's called. That does look really quite cool actually, it's not very different. I do like the minifigures, they're quite interesting. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. It is really quite cool. You know what, I'm interested. Maybe not at a full price, but maybe, once, maybe, maybe, maybe with a discount I might be interested. But down here then we still have the Eldorado Fortress that just looks absolutely incredible. I uh, do love the, sh the ship that comes with it. It's a little bit basic perhaps, but the fact that it comes with it is very cool. This is just absolutely fantastic. Really, really cool. The Dream Set for Dream Village. It's quite a sweet little set for £26, but again, I do like the sort of the blacksmith or the forge that looks quite cool. Yeah, the creatures are really weird creatures. I'm not quite sure what to make of them, if I'm perfectly honest. But yeah, interesting. And here with the Himiji Castle, I believe that's how it pronounced it. Looks really, really good. But then the real star is this Tranquil Garden set. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely beautiful set. It's really, really pretty. Uh, it's incredibly different quite unique. Yeah, that was really, really cool. Okay, that's the uh, Battersea Lego store done. Uh, very cool. Uh, I must admit, I was really surprised how good those dream sets are. Um, maybe convinced to buy a couple of them, but not full price, probably during a sale, but they do look really cool. So I'm now having some lunch, uh, and then I make my way down to the Leicester Square store. Okay, made it into Leicester Square now. And as you can see, it is absolutely heaving for the tourists, it's a very popular spot. The weather's a bit overcast, not quite sure. The uh, sun's up there somewhere, but still quite a nice warm day. Uh, I love Leicester Square, it's such an amazing place. It's just buzzing every time we come here. It's never quiet, always busy. And uh, just in the distance, you can just make out the Lego store. So let's make our way over there. Made it to the Lego store then, as you can see, hell of a queue to get in. Which is pretty much the norm for this store. It's always queuing to get in. Super, super popular. M&M World over there. So let's go and get in the queue. The Arvin base here. 
it's such a disappointing set, even seeing it in person. I mean, the Y wing looks all right. I like the minifigures, but I just think it's just a little bit too much money for what it is. But it's good to finally see it, though, even see it in person. Not much detail around the back either, if I'm honest. But yeah, it's a bit bland. Definitely one not. I'll have to buy it if you needed a big sale, I think. But I like the minifigures. They look, they look good. I've got Luke and Pan with the middles, they look cool. But yeah, it's. I do like the Y Wing, I just wish it came with an X Wing as well, perhaps. That would probably be a little bit more suitable, but. I don't know. This is such a shame. It could have been so, it could have been so much more. But I do like the Trooper in there, they look good. But yeah, looking at some more of the Dream sets. I say the more I see these, I like them. You've got the, the school bus there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, something different, but I'm not quite sure. Upstairs now, and look at the, uh, the rainbow tree, but it's just absolutely awesome. I love this Harry Potter mosaic, it's so beautiful. All Lego, looks absolutely fantastic, it really does, it really is fantastic. Got the big Ben there, Gringotts, that's really, really cool. Spider-Man final battle set, I think this is really cool, but I think it's a little bit expensive for what it is, but I do like it. I love all the minifigures. It is cool. It's it's really, really cool. Out. And we've got the uh, Endgame Final Battle. Again, not a great set. I think it's very really expensive for what it is. £95. Really, really not that great, if I'm perfectly honest. But easily missable. Some of the new Minecraft sets. I do like the Iron Golem Fortress. That looks really quite cool, actually. Uh, we've got the Pumpkin Farm. These look really good. I do like the Axolotl house. That's really quite sweet. I love the little Axolotls. That's really quite cool, actually. Uh, not a rabbit hole I really want to go down, if I'm honest. Got some of the new Mario sets, the Donkey Kong expansions. They look quite good, but again, I'm not a collector of these, but they're quite cool. The awesome Harry Potter display, which is just a magical. It really is just absolutely fantastic. I've seen this a few times now, every time it just amazes me. It really is absolutely spectacular. Just absolute, just brilliant. So fortunate to have this in the UK. Really, really good. Okay, that's Lego shopping done now. I uh, didn't, didn't buy too much in the Lego store, didn't want to go too mad. Um, keeping quite a bit of my money back for September, because that's going to be quite expensive. But I've got a few bits and pieces. Got a nice big bag of Lego, so time to go and get, get home now. Um, first up having a bit of an ice cream, then get in the tube, go home, and I'll show you guys what I brought. Okay, so back home now. Had a great day in London. Uh, both me and my wife had a really good day out, although we're both incredibly tired now. Uh, always when we go to London, we end up doing a lot of walking and going to two Lego stores in one day. It did involve a lot of walking, but it was well worth it. It was really good seeing some of the new Lego sets on, on display. Um, I must admit, as I said in the video earlier on, I was really surprised at how good the uh, Lego the new Dream sets look, at least some of them. Um, probably not quite enough for me to buy them yet, um, but the tree house in particular, that looked really good, uh, really nice and vibrant. I wasn't expecting that at all, um, really wasn't that fussed about it, but now seeing them, yeah, I'm quite interested. Uh, maybe when they come on sale at some point, I might consider picking up a couple of the sets. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where Lego take the Dreams theme. Um, I mean, it's quite interesting, I'll, I'll say that, it's much better than I was expecting. So. That was a really good highlight seeing all those. Uh, in Lego stores, Lego really were pushing the dream sets, uh, especially in Leicester Square. They had a big display upstairs where they were doing build alongs, and yeah, they seem to be going all out on it. So it'd be interesting. I hope it does well. Um, it could always do well, but I just think they're a little bit expensive for what they are at full retail price. That's just me. Um, but I say, maybe when they come down in price in a couple of months, that might be when I buy a few just to have a look and see what I, see what I think. But the treehouse I would like, I think that's really quite different. Um, it's also uh, mixed feelings on the on the Yavin uh, Star Wars base, Star Wars Yavin base. I'm still not sure on it. It's such a seeing it. In, I thought it, if I saw it in person, I might 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 have changed. I might have been a little bit, bit bit more impressed with it than what the all the previews have shown. But I don't know. Um, it's still look. It's still I think too much money for what it is. But I do want it. I still, <laughs> I would like it, that's the ironic thing. I, I, I think it's the pricing of it, and that's probably more 
uh, it's going to hurt it anymore. Um, I think at 150 pounds, I think it's too much for what you get. Um, I've already in the UK seen it re uh, reduced in price. Um, I think at the time I was recording, at the time I was recording this video, I believe Amazon in Japan, uh, Japan, Amazon in Germany, um, I believe they have it down to 115 pounds. Um, plus, like, I think you have to pay five pound postage and packaging, but so it's already coming down in price. So maybe I say I think it won't be long before it'll be down maybe around the hundred pound mark. That's when I'll buy it. Um, it's a set I would like, but not at full price. Maybe that's why I'm not so keen on it because of the price. But I love the minifigures; they do look great. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, that's one probably for the future when it goes on sale. So what did I buy? Well, I didn't go too mad. Um, uh, so it, was, it wasn't a huge amount of sets that I really must must have sets, but I did buy a few. I've got a few promos. Um, I've got yet yeah, another the 12 and one <laughs> promo set. I think this is the, the fourth of these I've got now. So yeah, I'm not, I think I'm, well, I'm almost got enough to build uh, one of every uh, design on the back of the box at the moment. So say, uh, well, I won't, I won't be buying any more Lego now. So, oh, they're quite all right. I'm quite happy with those. Um, I did get another of the freebie uh, Lego stores um, down in uh, in um, Battersea store. I'm amazed they still got these. They're still giving these out, which is really surprising. It's been about three months now since that store opened. But it still has loads and loads of these behind the counter. So I'm guessing they ordered so many, so, so much stock that it's taking the time to go through. But I think oh, this is the second one of these I've got now. So I think mean, this is really cool. So that's quite a nice freebie um, in fact i'll probably sell this one i've already got one down here from like, I think the last time i went so that's pretty good so anyone looking to go to the battersea store um you need to spend a minimum of 120 pound on any lego sets and you will still get one of these so for the moment there's still plenty there but that can always change but for the moment it looks like it's gonna be there for quite a while and in terms of actual sets i did get the batmobile uh, Batman vs Joker Chase. Um, this is really cool. I'm really looking forward to building this. Um, it might be doing this, building this one next week, I think, or the weekend. Um, I think this is really great. I believe it's the same model that comes in the Batcave. Um, so it's really good to get this as a standalone. Um, I, yeah, I, I missed out on the, it's, the 89 Batmobile is my favourite Batmobile by far. I love this this version of the Batmobile. Uh, and sadly, I missed out on the huge one a few years ago. So this is the next best thing. So you know, I would love, I love, I love Lego to bring that, bring it back, but I don't think they are. But sadly, I think this is going to be it for a while. I don't believe, from what I understand, there's going to be many D sets, if DC sets, if any, for 2024 at the moment. So, yeah, if, it, if, it, if they are ever going to remake it, it ain't going to be for a while. So that's that. Uh, let's move these out of the way. And in terms of big sets, let's move that one down there. Uh, so the big sets, I did buy the Tranquil Gardens. I wasn't sure about this, but when I saw it in store, oh, it's so beautiful, it really is. It wasn't when I was part when it was announced. I did like the look of it, but I wasn't necessarily going to rush out and buy it on day one. But having seen it, I couldn't really help myself. It was really, really nice. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. Seeing it in person, it really is a very, very beautiful set. Um, I'm really looking forward to building this. Uh, I think it's fantastic. It's so. Yeah, I think it's very, very pretty, very, yeah, very nice set. So that's it, I actually did buy, I brought all these all these down in the Battersea store. Um, I went into, into the Letter Square store. Um, I did pick up uh, a couple of the, I did have in my hand a couple of the Sonic the Hedgehog sets. Uh, but I was wandering around and thinking about it, and the more I thought about it, I thought, nah. The, the Sonic the Hedgehog sets, I can see those going on sale very soon. Um, they're not exclusive to Lego from, from what I understand. I think Argos and other independent retailers will have them. So, yeah, I thought I'll be, I'll be, I'll be paying full price for those right now is not really necessary. So I put them back in the end. And much to my wife's surprise, I walked out of the Lego, <laughs> at the Lego store with, with nothing in my hand. She was very, very shocked. But no, I thought it showed some considerable restraint. Uh, I need to keep a lot of... Oh, I spent enough money last this last few weeks and... Uh, and September is looking absolutely crazy with uh, Green Gots coming out, uh, the Ghost, and who else? Who, who knows what else? But yeah, I was quite restrained. Uh, so it was not a bad thing. But I also, and I did, uh, I was considering picking up the Spider Man. Uh, is it Far From Home or the latest Spider? I can't remember which one it is. Far From, I think it's Far From Home. 
Uh, I was always going to pick up that diorama, but the Leicester Square store actually sold out. So that sold that made that decision a little bit easier because I'll, I'll put that was there. I probably would have brought it, but as fate would have it, they sold out. So I didn't get it. So that's all I've got for my that's my haul for September. I don't envision buying any more sets for this month. I've spent I think I've spent way more than, than than I needed. Well, I spent a lot of money this last couple of weeks, so I need to have a little bit of a uh, a leg of you know, uh, detox for a while, at least until well, knowing me, some a sale will come up some point in August, and I won't be able to resist. But for the moment, I don't envision buying any more. So that's it. So let me know in the comments if you picked up any sets for August. Uh, with so many sets being released, I think sort of sixty odd new sets. Did any of the, any of those sets you buy? And um, can I please ask you to leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you would consider subscribing today. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.